Hello and welcome to Terrain Composer. This video I will show you the basic features of this Unity extension tool. It's all about creating realistic looking terrain in a minimum amount of time. That's what it's all about. Uh, you want quick fast results that look really real. And I made this tool also for myself because I'm making a flight simulator game and it really needs big huge terrains which look very realistic so I needed a tool to do that and I could not find something that fitted my needs so I had to create my own and in this video I will show you the basic features of how to create, create a color map um, I want a canyon that looks realistic and I'm going to mix it with two color mix two color groups together and also mix it with a satellite image on flat surface on the bottom here and in those flat places over there so um so this is the basic startup and there's a lot of features in the terrain settings which you can modify very quickly but I will explain but you can have a quick overview here what is active on the terrain all the trees the splat textures uh, the size one thing I added in this tool is a local area I can show you that quickly it allows you to to generate on a smaller area area and it's very handy for increased speed you can quickly see the result and let me show you how that works so let's get generating Here you can see it starts here and it's in the corner there if you want it a little bit more back. Generate again. So this is a small output. But now we want to have the maximum output. And let's get started with our canyon. For that we need some cool colors which I already saved so here is our basic setup now the nice thing about this interface is that you can swap everything around exchange so I want yeah I want this um, this hierarchy and you can also decrease increase colors yes now let's and get started with the canyon now I want to get output on height first so it will be green at the bottom and white at the top let's see how it looks there you go yes it's already looking pretty cool um I like the green to go lower so we put that one lower and a cool feature of the the curve is first you have a random curve that creates a little bit more random and yeah, I'll show you what it will do after I generate and what I like to do is to make some color layers over here now you can use the curve for that um, the filter reads the height um, of the terrain zero is flat one is the top and so everything is selected from here let's say if the height is 0 0.5 that's over here 
this color will be selected and if you will change that to lower then it will be that color um, yeah and now we want to create layers of color actually between here that will be cool that's uh, brown 0 0.4 so let's do some nice curve in here put that one down let's add some okay let's see what happens a little bit more yeah. Okay, in here you can see the results. The pixeling here, the variation in color is caused by the random here, which is a little bit too much. I'll put it a little bit back. And here you can see our layers, which is caused by the curve and is looking pretty good. Okay that is filter one and now let's add filter two and I will create another color range I already made that one let's load it now what you can select with filter is different conditions we have height you have steepness direction and that is the the normal you have much more options with this one. Uh, you can select an image, random, random range, and some more settings. But now we do steepness. A little bit random. Here we have selected color range zero, that's over there. And in this filter we want to select different colors of color range 1 so and now we deactivated that one so it's not working so let's generate and see what happens now you can see a total different color setup and a different result it's very not fast and now the real power of this tool is that you can mix both now let's do that all you have to do is put the strength to a half and this one also this will perfectly blend those two together um, was also very nice uh, I first hit generate again to see the end result and another nice feature is that you can continue working while generating you can also disable each color and what it will do you can see in the color curves this is automatically transitioning from one color to the other and if here okay now we have both mixed. That's awesome. Okay, but the bottom is a little bit like, yeah, it's only green and I wanted to have much more variation. So what I want to do, and also this tiny parts over there, I want to have these two filters not influencing this flat surface over here so I have to exclude it and that you can do with a subfilter now what a subfilter will do in a color map it's it's uh, determining the transparency so uh, we need steepness and we need uh, it not to draw on flat surface so we need to invert the curve now I say if the surface is flat you have to fully draw it that's one and when it's 0 0.2 there's no draw and we need the exact opposite 
so we have to infer the line uh, copy the subfilter apply it to uh, this filter and hit generate okay now you can see it excluded the flat surfaces now we can blend in our satellite image on the darker part so for that we create another filter we select image and we select our satellite image canyon and that's this one um, now we need the exact opposite of this subfilter applied to the satellite filter and invert the line so it's drawn exactly on the opposite and all you have to do is click generate and what you can also do is selecting the color um, close it and we want a color that is blending in a little bit higher I want to blend it in with that color okay let's hit generate and here you go now you have it mixed fully mixed with with your canyon terrain and it looks pretty cool I want it a little bit different as for the colors here it's a little bit too much in my opinion so we can put this a little bit a little bit more into perspective yes like that and I like the satellite terrain to be a little bit more desert like so change the color to a more yellowish color more of uh, this yes and as a final thing I don't want it on the, the top height so what you need to do for that is create another subfolder and basically say you want this to draw on a higher height so like that and here you can select how you want to output and we put it on max and it means that the if this value is bigger than that value this value will be chosen say this uh, subfilter generates number 0 0.5 and this subfilter generates number one it will choose number one if it would be on minimum which and then it won't it will the total value will still be on 0 0.5 so and you can also choose add subtract and that's what you can also do in the filter and it has even more options like change multiply divide difference average etc so here we want that subfilter to be applied and we want it also here we copy it paste it and we paste it in here and here here we want the opposite yes and also on minimum so it should draw whenever there okay let's let's see what the output is gonna be yes this looks more like it so here is the final result that looks pretty cool in my opinion the perfect blend of a satellite image and you got realistic looking canyon now if you're finished with your color map you can export it that's very easy just click the export button and 
change and choose the file and just click export dot png and I can show you what happens so here is the color map we generated yeah it looks pretty cool so thank you for watching and in the next video I will show how to place trees it is has all the same concept as with each layer like you can do the same with splat layers you can use the same filter subfolder system you can use the same for trees but I will show you in the the next video I, I hope you like it and thank you for watching